Will I start using performance enhancing drugs this off season? <laughs> What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and welcome to this Sunday night Q&A Well if you are watching this on Sunday night when this video goes up then this is a Sunday night Q&A It could also be a Monday night, a Monday morning if you're doing cardio, a Tuesday morning I don't know, a Wednesday night, even a Saturday night, whenever the fuck you are watching this I don't know But it is going up on Sunday night, that is all I know So what I thought was I did say that would maybe be my last vlog before obviously I head out to Miami on Wednesday morning. It might have been, it might not have been, so I thought, do you know something? I'm, I am going to put another video up, but I don't know what. So I thought, do you know something? Q&A is, I have not done a Q&A in quite long. So what I thought I would do was I would stick a questionnaire thing on my Instagram, basically for a YouTube q and I do daily questions on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then I would probably... Head over right now and do that. The link you will find is in my description below. So Instagram is at KiffyWave underscore. Make sure you hit me up on that. What I'm going to do is, as I am just rambling on, and I do realise I've took up about a minute and a half of your time already, I am going to get on with this q and I do have the questions on my iPad. As you guys know already, I do literally just record these videos on my phone. All my videos and, you know, like the 99% of the stuff have just been done on my phone. All my Instagram stuff is always done on my phone. Things like that. But... I am going to upgrade to a camera pretty, pretty soon. Just before we crack on with this video, guys, what I am going to ask you is for two tiny, 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 tiny little things. And that is for you guys to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are new to the channel because we are closing in on that 1,000 subscriber mark. You are going to be absolutely sick of me going on about it. So let's just fucking hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. Let's smash it. But we are going to get on with this. Let's crack on with this Q&A. Question number one, what do you do for cardio? So I actually just do 10 minutes on the cross trainer for my cardio. Yes, 10 minutes. That is 10 minutes. I don't know what it is in seconds. Don't even ask me, but it is 10 minutes. It's been the same the whole of my prep. I've literally just done what I'm told and that is really it. Again, it's been a kind of mind game thing because obviously 10 minutes you're like, oh my God, am I doing enough? Am I doing this? Am I doing that? Should I do this? Should I do that? But it's a case of trusting the process, trust absolutely everything. Do what I am told to do and that is it. So it has been 10 minutes on the, the cross trainer because I do not have access to anything like a Stairmaster or things like that. You know, all the, the big fancy pieces of kit that everybody swears by. I do not have access to that, unfortunately. So cross trainer, it was. Next question. Do you do much barbell back squats? Now, I actually still do do barbell back squats, funnily enough. I've just not posted anything about them lately. I've been focusing more... I can't even say I've been focusing more on front squats. It's just been a case of that's what I've been posting more rather than obviously my back squats. So basically, I've been hitting legs maybe every something like five to six days, depending on obviously the recovery and depending on what they've been like. And basically, one session I've been doing back squats, one session I've been doing front squats as like the priority main compound at the very start of the session. So that's been working Again, I'm really liking getting back into front squats and being able to prioritise them first. So I'm looking forward to progressing them into my off season as well because I would love to take them really, really heavy. I would love to get the five biscuits on the front squat. I mean, saying that, I would love to get that. I'm definitely going to get that in my off season. Reps as well, you know, we're going to go all out. So we're going to take that. But that is really it. Do I do much barbell back squats? Yes, they are still in. I've just not posted anything about them because, again, I cannot really be bothered. Next question. If you start using, what would your cycle be in a bulk? I'm assuming you're meaning the steroids, obviously, at the end of the day. You know, I am absolutely clueless when it comes to things like this. So this is just something that really I cannot answer. I mean, I can give you my opinion, but like, what would you, what would your cycle be in a bulk? Like, see, to be honest, I, it's not something that I'm sitting at night time thinking about, you know, oh, right, I'm going into a bulk, I'm going into a gaining phase, I'm going into my off season. You know, I'm going to jump straight on the gear and things like that. It's not going to happen. Do you know what I mean? I'm I'm like, I would not consider myself failing as a natural athlete. So I'm like, why would I need to obviously jump to the kind of assisted side like now? Do you know what I mean? Why? What's going on with that? And I don't, it, it baffles me why I get so many questions and why I get so many steroid remarks and stuff like that. It's actually hilarious at the end of the day. If I started using what would my cycle be in a bulk? I do not know. We're just going to go with In fact, you know something? I'm actually just going to include this as like a clickbaity thumbnail because there's like, 
I believe there's like three or four, even five questions here regarding steroids. And it's like probably one of the best clickbaity thumbnails that we're going to use and titles as well. So that's really going to be it. But if I started using, which I'm not going to do anytime soon, what would your cycle be in a bulk? Do not have a single clue. Next question. Best supplements for a beginner looking to get into bodybuilding, right? This is something that I did actually cover on my Instagram pretty lately. It would have been a few days ago, in fact. Supplement wise, think like think about the word, right? Supplements. Supplements are only there to supplement your diet, right? So if your diet is like absolutely tits up and it's like not, do you know what I mean? It's, it's not doing anything. You know what I mean? You're not literally in a place where your nutrition is doing well then supplements are going to do fuck all for you at the end of the day you're just going to waste your money you're going to satisfy companies because you're wasting your money on stupid supplements that at the end of the day are not going to work for you are not going to be beneficial so patch that get your nutrition on point first once it does come to a point where basically your nutrition is on point and you're doing really well with it then you know bring in start bringing in supplements and things like that the only things i would recommend especially for a beginner would be you know maybe a protein powdered supplement and to be to be quite honest with you that is it like a, a good quality protein powder just to literally supplement maybe on the days that you, you you maybe can't get that extra bit of meat in or you know that extra bit of protein from somewhere else once you start kind of getting into it more and more and more that's when you can start maybe introducing things like you know your your EAAs that everybody swears about even a pre-workout supplement's not that bad you know a pre-workout supplement not every day maybe just on the days that you need it maybe on you know your big back days or leg days or things like that but best supplements for a beginner looking to get into bodybuilding just make sure your nutrition is on like on par on key as key as the best it's the best it can be then start introducing your supplements and as i said if you're a beginner protein and that is it just get yourself hooked up with a good quality protein being that if you haven't checked out on rivaled yet then make sure you guys do i will stick the link in the description below they are like the the best of the best the quality from them is it's crazy the ingredients are crazy the taste on the side is just a bonus so if you guys have not checked them out then make sure you do next question what's your plans post miami so what's my plans when i come back from miami my plans are to eat like fuck train like fuck and get as big as humanly possible will you start using peds this off season again there we go will i start using performance enhancing drugs this off season no i will not get the picture i will not start using pets this off season jesus christ when are you going to bulk and be fucking huge mate i've literally just covered this i'm going to end my off season in approximately five and a half days say six days that is the plan so six days that's when it's going to happen next question favorite pre-meal and how long before training so my opinion on this throughout my off season my favorite and what i thought sat the best and you know what i helped what i thought helped fuel because obviously it was a slow digestive meal was a bowl of oats again it was i don't know what it was but i was basically having it for like my first meal and then i was having it for like another pre-workout meal as well and it sat really well i would usually i like to have my pre-workout meals i don't know maybe 25 to 35 minutes maybe pre-workout to be honest and i know a lot of people like to sit and wait an hour an hour and a half and stuff but see to be honest with you see if i was to sit and eat a meal and then wait and wait and wait i would just get so bored and i would be like i don't know i would probably eat another meal it would be that bad it would be like i would just literally sit there and i'd be thinking you know what the fuck am i doing i'm either going to go in and train or i'm going to you know open a packet of pancakes and eat a pancake stack because i've seen throughout my off season i did that quite a lot or a packet of crumpets which again six days time is going to come back in rdls every back session or deadlift from the floor and bent over row alternate to be quite honest with you i, I believe you're asking me where i would prioritize the moves rdls to be quite honest with you i would not prioritize them in a back session i would probably put an rdl in a leg session well that's me personally that's where i would put an rdl move deadlifts from the floors alternating with bent over rows to be quite honest with you it depends how your cns is so if you're able to do deadlifts and your cns is maybe fried but not completely fried include bent over rows in that session if you're able to do deadlifts but your cns gets completely fucked then switch up and put in a bent over row in maybe the next back session so like literally you know a good few days later and you're hitting back again that, well i'm assuming you're hitting back twice a week then obviously add in the bent over row then but as i said an rdl every back session no i would probably put an rdl in your leg sessions some sort of rdl stiff leg deadlift move obviously with a barbell 
forget about dumbbells, leave them to like the end of the session, but barbell moves, yes. RDLs, I would put into a leg session and deadlifts from the floor especially, and your bent over row moves, keep them in the back session, but that is really it. One thing I did say was before I was going to start this Q&A was, I was going to answer obviously as many questions as I could, but I have seen the timer and I do not want to literally drag this out and just be a complete bore. So I am going to keep this one nice and short, guys. I am sorry if I have not managed to answer your question. I will try and even get back to it on Instagram if I have not managed to answer it on this. This has just been a quick one, guys. I am going to get this uploaded as soon as possible. I do hope you have enjoyed this little Q&A, guys. If you have enjoyed it, then don't forget, as I said, to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Let's smash 1K subscribers. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you guys in Miami.